Okay, good afternoon everyone. So I am Sir Alambro. So today we're going to have this one. Okay, so as you can see in here, so it represents actually different religions of the world. So in today's uh, desired learning outcome, we have to explain how globalization affects religious practices and beliefs. And of course, uh, we're going to analyze relationship between religion and global conflict and conversely, global peace. So to start with, okay, so let's have first uh, the word religion. So religion comes from the Latin word religare, which means to bind together. Again, that which was once bound but has since been torn apart or broken. So this is the etymology of the word religion. So, but if we're going to discuss the meaning of religion, okay, so religion is just what? A set of beliefs and practices, okay? So in religion, uh, there is a need for us to explain the origin, okay? Or origins and purpose of humans and their role on earth. And in religion also, there is this existence of higher power, spirits or God, or the supernatural being. Okay? So no matter who your God is, so we call him or her a supernatural being. And in religion, we cannot avoid okay, all of this. The rituals, festivals, and rites of passage, and even the space or religious landscape. So this is referring to the different religious landmarks. Okay? So I have first to unlock some of the terminologies, okay, so that we can proceed later on. So number one here is universalizing religion. So in here, uh, there is an attempt to appeal to all people, not just those living in one particular location. So as I've told you last time, or doon sa naudot natin na pag-uusap, okay, uh, people who are really avid fan or fanatics of a religion is really willing to or are really willing to convince okay, insinuate to other people that the religion that they have is really good okay, that you outsiders should go inside or should join them Okay, so of course, a uni universal, uh, the word universal is referring to, uh, it, it is somewhat present in all regions of the world, okay, or in all societies, so which is also true, because uh, this time around, kokonti lang naman siguro yung walang religion, okay, so kasi meron pa naman tayo mga ETS, of course. So we have also here another term, proselytize. Okay, to try to convert people to one's belief or opinion. Okay, so in the actual prosly, proslytation, okay, proslytizing of people. So may mga cases po tayo, kagaya ng mga, of course, uh, mixed marriages. Okay, na kung saan kung ikaw ay Islam believer, uh, babae siya, and then yung... Uh, boyfriend mo or yung husband to be mo ay Roman Catholic. So, tendencies, ang nangyayari talaga, makukonvert ngayon si boyfriend to Islam as practiced by uh, most Islam believers. Okay? So, may tendency din minsan na yung Islam believer ay makukonvert din siya sa Christian. Okay? Kaso nga lang, of course, uh, pag ganito yung situation, may tendency talaga na uh, pwede siyang maitakwil ng uh, tinatawag nating pamilya niya kasi nga that is against really the the belief system that they have okay so kasi parang uh, nagkaroon na rin ng kasalanan yung parents okay so kaya based doon sa usapan namin sa 10:30 ko uh, 10 o'clock to 12 ko kanina 
So, merong kapitbahay sila na nag-asawa yung babae. Okay. And then, nagpa-convert siya sa uh, Christian. Okay. Sa Christianity. So, ang nangyari, tinakwil siya ng tatay at nanay niya. So, sabi pa nga doon karina ng uh, estudyante ko, Uh, hanggang sa namatay yung father. So, parang hindi talaga siya pinatawad. So, humingi lang daw sila ng sorry yung mag-asawa. Okay. So, ayan. So, sa ibang mga uh, situations din, nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, ganitong mga eksena. It's mainly because uh, we are suffering from this uh, really, uh, spiritual crisis. Okay. So, and there are people around us that are insinuating that we have to be part of this religion kasi nga ganito, ganito, ganyan. Maganda dito, ganon. Okay? So, minsan nadadala tayo and so therefore, doon nangyayari yung pag-convert ng mga tao. Of course, the the first uh, conversion happened here in uh, the Philippines in, that was the time actually of uh, Magellan. ba? Diba? So, people in in the Philippines were converted from pagans to uh, Christians. Okay. Kasi mga pagano tayo dito noon. At saka yung iba, of course, uh, Muslim or Islam believers sila. Okay. Especially yung dito sa South, sa Mindanao. Okay. So even the Pulapo was a Muslim. Okay. In, in Visayas. Okay. Uh, may mga ano din doon dati na sabi siya ay, tawag natin dyan, pagano. Okay. Some uh, would say na uh, Islam believers siya. Okay. Now we have also another term here, syncretic. So traditions that borrow from both the past and the present. So ano yung yari dito? Of course, uh, these are still observable when it comes to the past traditions okay, that we have in our religions. Okay. So, of course, uh, mga Muslims, okay, uh, you are still... Uh, Uh, celebrating Eid al-Adha, okay, Eid al-Fitr. Okay. Yung sa mga Christians naman, of course, we have mga feast ng mga santo, okay, mga ganon. Sa ibang relihiyon mayroon din yan sila. Sa Budhisa, mayroon din yan. Tawisa, mayroon din yan. Uh, Hinduisa, mayroon din. Sa Judahisa, mayroon din yung mga celebration, guys. Okay, sa Islam, ganon din. Okay. So ayan. So napakaraming uh, traditions kaya na kung saan uh, sinusunod pa rin natin. Kaso nga lang of course with regards to uh, the present. So katulad sa nangyari ngayon, so hindi na lang halos lahat nakapunta ng church. Okay? Kasi meron tayong protocol with regards to COVID. Okay? So ito lang yung nabago actually. Okay? So, pw- pwedeng mangyari na kapag ganito din yung mayayari uh, 100 years from now, so pwede na pa rin natin ulitin yung practice na ito na kung saan ilang porsyento lang ng believers yung pwede makapasok. Okay. Now, uh, of course, uh, tinatanong natin palagi. Okay. So, tinatanong natin palagi na uh, kung ito ba ay maganda okay, para sa isang, ta- sa isang tao na mayroong relihiyon? Uh, of course, uh, uh, my answer would be yes. Okay? So, yan po yung pinaka-mainam okay, na gawin to have a religion. Kasi mayroong support system po yan. Okay? Even though you have uh, psychological support or social or moral support, but when you don't have spiritual support, yun yung pinaka-problema. Okay? Kasi as human beings, uh, we are here because we have a purpose. Diba? Uh, we have purposes. Okay? So, in order for us to create a meaningful world, okay, we have really to make sure we have a God okay, na pinaniwalaan. Okay? So, ayan. So, According dito sa book natin, according sa author natin, according to Juan um, 2006 rather, 
uh, according to Juan in 2006. So there are about 4,300 religions in the world. Okay. So out of these religions, meron yan silang distinct na mga uh, traditions. Okay. Na siyang sinusunod din. Okay. Yung iba, nagsusulputan lang yan sila. Okay. Dahil na rin sa tinatawag nating uh, iba-ibang interpretasyon. Okay. So, yung ibang interpretation na yan, uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag nating Guys, nagre-record ako ha. Uh, kung may may kung wala kayong pasok, okay lang din. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm going to post this one na uh, sa lip po ninyo later on. Okay, pag matapos ko po ito. Okay. Uh, nagkakaroon kasi ako ng ano, Irish Grace Estrada. Wala ka bang quiz ngayon kay Sir Joel? Ah, okay, okay. Humalas na siya. Okay. So, ayan. So, nalate siguro sila. So, yung iba guys uh, na reliyon ay matagal na. Okay. Matagal na dito sa mundo. Okay. Uh, yung iba bago pa lang nagsulputan. Okay. So, ayan. So, that's all about uh, syncretic. Okay. We have also secularization. So, secularization is a process that is leading increasingly large group of people who claim no allegiance to any church. So they're not having any religion at all, but they are somewhat uh, believer. They are believers actually, okay, uh, to anything else, okay. They are believing of uh, maybe science, okay. Kasi yung iba sa kanila dito guys are atheist, okay. So others simply do not practice. Uh, still others call themselves spiritual but not religious. Okay? So, yun po yung mayroon po dito sa secularization. So, kasi hindi naman natin napipilit, di ba? Kasi may free will naman tayo. Okay? So, this is common in Europe and the cities of the US. And common also in farming Soviet Union and China, of course. So, especially mga scientists natin. So, ito yung mga wala hindi talaga sila uh, kumikilala sa Dios okay yung mga ETS natin okay yung iba sa kanila of course mga scientists at saka yung mga uh, elite in the society na mas prefer nila uh, paniwalaan yung science kaysa sa uh, isang tinatawag nilang uh, katang isip na Dios ayan so ayan and we have also fundamentalism. So this is a process that is leading to increasingly large group of people who claim there is only one way to interpret worship. Okay. So fundamentalists generally envision a return to a more perfect religion and ethics they imagine exists in the past. So this is also somewhat uh, common in the U.S. and in some Islamic nations. So pag fundamentalist ka kasi, kung ano pinaniniwalaan mo, yun na yun. Hindi pwedeng baguhin yun kahit nino pa. So magkakaroon kayo ng trouble with these people if you really want to insist your beliefs okay, or practice. So yan yung problema kapag ka uh, fundamentalist. Okay? So do you really stand on, on those things that they believe? Okay? Uh, true okay, for them or correct for them? Okay, so yeah. So in the religion, okay, that we have, so there are actually divisions. Okay, so we have first branch. So this is a large and fundamental division within a religion. Okay, so Islam. So we have Sunni and Shia. For uh, Catholic, so we have 
uh, Roman Catholic and at the same time the Eastern Orthodox. Okay. And of course, followed by denomination. This is a division within a branch of a religion. Okay, so in Roman Catholic, there are also uh, denominations. Okay, lumabas pa nga dyan yung Protestants, of course, okay, sa branch natin. Okay, and sect. Okay, so this is a relatively small denominational group that has broken away from an established church. Okay, so ayan. So dito sa Pilipinas, napakarami eh. Okay, na nang sekta natin. So yung iba nga, uh, ginagawa na siyang ano, parang gatasan. Okay. So one good example is Kapa. Okay. So religious by nature siya yung pagka-institute sa kanya pero it's not really on uh, the religious activities but it's more on monetary. Okay. So ayan. At the same time, uh, napakarami pa mga sekta. Pero hindi naman natin nila lahat. Ah. Uh, mayroon talang sekta na, of course, uh, true to their uh, promise to deliver salvation. Okay? So, ayan. So, nearly 75% of the world's population practice one of the five most influential religions of the world. So, we have Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, and Judaism. Okay. So dito sa slide ko na ito, so meron po tayong uh, lima dito na na present. Okay. So of course, uh, when we're talking about universalizing religion, so yung pinaka malakas at pinaka malawak yung uh, napuntahan, of course, uh, we have Christianity, Islam, Buddhism. So in this uh, religion, so there are actually uh, key players, of course. Okay, so it diffuses from one specific uh, country or region, okay, all throughout the world, going to the different parts of the world, and this is conducted by the followers and at the same time, uh, the missionaries. Okay. So here is a clear one. Okay. So here are the leg here is the le legend. Okay. See so the orange here represents Christianity. Okay. So this is uh, South, uh, North America, South America. This is Australia. Okay. Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Russia. Okay. And of course uh, Europe. Okay, here. So there are also parts of Africa that is having a huge number of followers of Christian Christianity. Okay, in this area, in this area. Okay, for Islam, of course, uh, part of Africa is especially North Africa. So marami po jang uh, Islam believers. Plus, yung dito sa Middle East. And Indonesia, of course. Okay. So, ayan. And Buddhism. So, yung Buddhism natin, it's uh, China. Okay. Mongolia. We have, of course, part ng Japan and Korea. Okay. Then, Taiwan. Uh, Taiwan, yes. Laos. Uh, Thailand. Okay. Myanmar, okay. Vietnam. So, ayan. Then, Hinduism, of course, uh, India. Okay. Uh, Judaism, dito po siya, Israel. Okay. So, ayan. So, yung remaining dito, especially in, uh, in, the, in the Central Africa and South Africa, some of the uh, people here are practicing traditional or animistic religion. Okay? So, even today. So, ayan. So, if you're going to look at the the data here, okay, including the foundation, anniversary, the sacred text, the number of followers, and the statistics. So, we are here. 
Okay. So, ayan. So, yung pinaka uh, talagang nagkaroon ng maraming followers ay ang Islam at saka uh, Christianity. Ayan. Now, if you're going to compare the followers, almost 2.1 million. Okay? Yung followers natin dito. Yung Islam naman, okay, uh, one point, parang billion ata ito eh. Sandali ah. Tama, Christianity is 2.1 billion. Okay? Yung Christianity, uh, almost uh, 1.3 billion. Okay? Yung followers niya. Okay? So, kaso nga lang dito, kung titignan natin yan dito sa Christianity, yung percentage na ito is dropping. Okay? Kasi marami nang lumilipat actually. Okay? Nang relihiyon Okay? Ng mga Kristiyano. And then sa Islam naman, if you're going to look at it, uh, growing yung kanyang uh, followers. Nagkaroon nga ng forecast ito eh. By 2050, mas marami ng Islam believers kaysa sa mga uh, Christian. Okay? So, ayan. Okay, so yung walang relihiyon guys, okay, tingnan natin, 925 million. Okay, malaking porsyento na rin yan. Okay. Pero dropping na yan ha, dropping na ito. Okay. Ayan. So for Hinduism, nag-start po siya. Uh, 1500s BCE, before common era. Yung Christianity, guys, uh, common era, okay, 30 CE. Yung Islam, 622 CE, common era, okay? So, ayan, yung, yung ginagamit na text natin, holy text po natin dito uh, for Christians, uh, Bible. For Islam, Quran or Hadith. Then for Hinduism, we have the, the Veda or Vedas. For Buddhism, we have the Tripitaka, okay? Sa mga ITS, of course, wala. Okay. For Sikhism, they are using Guru Grant and the Sahib. For Judaism, the Torah or the Talmud. Sa mga Shamanist, of course, oral tradition po ang meron sa kanila. Then Con Confucianism, Lunyu, yung ginagamit. And then Baha'i Faith, of course, Most Holy Book. Okay. And Jainism, Siddhanta, and Prak Prakrit. Okay. And then Shintoism, yung Shintoism natin, ang ginagamit po niya ay Kujiki, Onohon, at saka yung Shuki. At saka Zoryo Trianism, Zoryas Trianism, okay, Avesta. Okay, so yun po yung mga secret text na meron ang mga reliyong ito. Okay, so ayan. And then, of course, meron din tayong ethnic groups. Okay? Yung ethnic religion na tinatawag. Okay? Sabi ko nga last time sa inyo, okay, nagsimula tayo sa animism followed by monotheistic uh, religion and polytheistic religions. Okay? So, sa animism or shamanism, this is a belief on all objects, animals, and beings are animated or possess a spirit and conscious life. Also called shamanism because of the permanence of a shaman. So yung shaman po na yan, yan po yung tinatawag nating religious leader. Okay. So such beliefs are common among hunter-gatherers in folk culture. So this, this was long, long years ago. Okay. Long, long years before. So 10% of the African follows or Africans follow such tradition, traditional ethnic religion. So, yung kanina na pinakita natin, uh, somewhere in Central Africa and South Africa. Okay? Ayan. And of course, uh, these beliefs are losing ground to Christianity and Islam throughout Africa. Kasi kung babalikan natin dito, oh, ayan. So, ito mga areas na ito na kung saan mayroong animistic at traditional religions. So, some of them were already converted to Islam and Uh, Christianity. It's mainly because of the missionary uh, mis missions uh, missionaries activities. Okay? Ayan. So let's have Hinduism. 
Okay. Hinduism is a polytheistic in nature. Okay. So, yung origin po nito is unknown. Ang cradle of uh, this particular religion was in Indus River Valley in present day, uh, Pakistan po. Uh, approximately po uh, 2200s to 1400s BCE siya nag-exist. Okay. So, ayan. This is in between. Okay. Hindi siya specific. So, there are collection of scriptures from the year 1500s BCE to 500 BC. Okay. So, like Vedas, the Upanishads, the Sotras, the Bhagavad Gita. Okay. So, this time around, so meron na siyang 800 million followers, over 800 million followers. So, matagpuan natin ito sa India, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. Okay, so yung sacred space po nila or sacred uh, uh, place po okay, ay ang Ganges River. Okay, ayan. So ang meron dito sa ano, monotheistic yung ano niya pero meron siyang tatlong persona. Okay. So monistic o monotheistic ang dating pero in many forms. Okay, parang ano lang din, Christianity. You are believing in one God. Okay? Pero mayroon siyang uh, Trinity. Okay? Sa Christians. Okay? So, yung one God na ito ay tinatawag natin uh, nilang si Brahman. Okay? Si Brahman. Okay? Pero si Brahman, mayroon siyang tatlong katauhan. Si Vishnu, na siyang preserver. Si Shiva, na destroyer. At si Shakti, or si Brahma, na mother God. Okay. So yun, yan yung tatlong uh, persona na mayroon si Brahman. Okay. So mayroon silang limang uh, main beliefs. Una-una yung sinasabi nating karma. Okay, there are good karma and bad karma. Okay, so deeds have corresponding effects on the future. Depende kung anong klaseng uh, deeds ang nagawa mo pag bad. Okay. So negative karma pag good good karma ang babalik sa iyo okay and then the dharma okay ito naman yung fulfillment of the moral and social and religious obligations or duties okay so dapat committed daw okay sa relihiyon okay and we have also artha so this is where you can attain financial and worldly success okay pero hindi ito yung pinaka importante sa hinduism Okay. And of course, uh, kama, uh, this is pertaining to the satisfaction, okay, when it comes to desire and drives in moderation, okay, so mayroon po yan sila, and of course, moksha, okay, so to attain freedom from reincarnation, so ito, langit na ito eh, okay, yung, yung moksha na ito, okay, so heaven. So, ayan. So, dito po yan. This is uh, India. This is Sri Lanka. Yung Nepal, uh, somewhere here. In Nepal. Okay. So, ayan. So, sa Hinduism, okay, uh, in terms of human condition, so, human in bondage to ignorance. Okay, hindi may inevitable po yan. Okay. Then, gain enlightenment to earn a better rebirth. And, of course, ang pinaka-essence talaga sa kanila when it comes to afterlife ay yung tinatawag nating reincarnation at saka yung enlightenment. Kung saan dito, sa enlightenment, parang hindi ka nadadaan sa reincarnation. So, automatic papasok dun sa moksha. Okay, sa heaven. Okay. So let's go to Judaism. So in Judaism, it all started in 2000 BCE. Okay, this was formed by Abraham. Okay, wherein this person formed covenant with God as a patriarch of Israelites. So 
followed by Moses, who led the people out of Egypt in the so-called Exodus, then followed by Diaspora in 70 AD, or in Roman first uh, Jews to disperse throughout the world. So, uh, ano sila, spread out. And then, uh, ghetto period. So, this is during the Middle Ages. We're in a neighborhood in city set up by law to be inhabited by or only by Jews. So, may isang locations lang talaga na para lang dun sa kanila. So, para nagkaroon ng uh, isolation or separation. Okay? Ito kung saan uh, they were discriminated to to put up homes in different locations. Okay? So, ayan. So, uh, in terms of sacred place or places, we have the synagogue or sa ating little church in, of course, uh, Jerusalem. Okay, this is the Star of David, the symbol of Judaism. And, of course, the division are following the Orthodox in the Reform and the Conservative. So, yung current division nila is about 13 to 14 million worldwide po siya sa Israel at sa United States, about 5 to 6 million. Okay? So, yan po yung Judaism. And the same time, meron siya basic precepts. Okay? One God pa rin, Torah ang ginagamit na meron five chapters na tinatawag nating Pentateuchs. And of course, they're still waiting for the Messiah. Okay? And differing opinions on afterlife. Kaya sa libro natin, uh, varies not heavily emphasized. Okay? So, ayan. So, even today, uh, nag-aano pa sila, naghihintay pa sila ng Messiah. Ayan.